question 56 says that if in a triangle ABC, 2A square plus 4B square plus C square equals 2A times 2B plus C, then which of the following statement is our correct? Here, all the symbols used have their usual meaning in a triangle. Students, we have to simplify this equation. 2A square plus 4B square plus C square is equal to, let us open it, 4AB plus 2AC. So it is giving me the hint of completing the perfect square. I have a square minus 4ab plus 4b square plus a square minus 2ac plus c square equals 0. Which means that a minus 2b whole square plus a minus c whole square equals 0. Sum of two squares is equal to 0 only when both the numbers are 0. So from here, we have the sum of 2 square equals 0. It is only possible when both the numbers are 0. So a equals 2b equals c because a is equal to c from the second part. So we have angle a equal to angle c. a is to b is to c as 2 is to 1 is to 2. So that means option number b, option number d both are clearly correct. Then for option number a, you can use the formula cos of b equals a square plus c square minus b square upon 2ac. That will come out to be equal to 7 by 8. No worries in that. A is also correct. For b part, you can again use r upon r1. r is delta upon s. r1 is delta upon s minus a. So it is s minus a upon s. 1 minus a by s. So we have abc. So you can calculate the value. This will be 1 by 5. Okay. So all four options are correct over here. A, B, C, D. Okay. Let us move on to the next section which contains paragraph type problems. So moving on to the paragraph section, we have this question which contains 57 and 58 number questions. Let f be a differentiable function such that f of x equals x square plus integral 0 to x e raised to the power minus t into f of x minus t dt. If gx is equal to 1 upon fx, then which of the following statement is are incorrect about the function gx? So students, first of all, we have to simplify fx by solving this given equation and then we have to comment on the continuity and discontinuity of gx. So let us start. fx is x square plus integral 0 to x e raised to the power minus t f of x minus t dt. Students, the integration is with respect to t. So x is a constant here. Let us apply the property a plus b minus x in this integral. So we have x square plus integral 0 to x e raised to the power minus of x minus t. So that means t minus x. f of x minus x minus t. So f of t dt. That means fx is equal to this. Which is further written as x square plus e raised to the power minus x into integral 0 to x e raised to the power t f t dt. Because x is a constant with respect to the integral dt. So we have this equation. Let us differentiate it. f dash x will be 2x plus e raised to the power minus x kept as constant. By differentiating with Newton Leibniz, we have e raised to the power x into fx. Plus this integral being kept constant into differentiation of e raised to the power minus x. So this is f dash x equals 2x plus fx minus e raised to the power minus x integral 0 to x e raised to power t f t dt. Carefully observing that from equation number 1 and equation number 2, if we directly add them, we'll get this complicated term cancelled over there. Okay, So we'll have by adding 1 and 2. On the left hand side, we'll have fx plus f dash x is equal to x square plus 2x plus fx. So that term will be cancelled. From here, we have f dash x equals x square plus 2x. From there, we can say that fx is x cubed by 3 plus x square plus constant of integration. Now, in order to evaluate constant of integration, let us put x equals 0 here. So f of 0 is clearly 0. So that means c is 0. So ultimately fx is 
x square into x plus 3 whole divided by 3. So that means gx that is 1 upon fx is 3 upon x square into x plus 3. We are required to talk about the points of discontinuity. It is discontinuous at two points at x equals 0 and at x equals minus 3. We have to choose incorrect options. So let us have a look. A is incorrect. B is incorrect. C is correct. So it will not be my answer. D is incorrect. So A, B, D is the final answer for question number 57. Okay. Let us move on to the next part of this paragraph. Question 58.